What's up everyone? Back again today with another review video uh, and just some kind of first impressions of my Lone Wolf Custom Gear Double Step Sticks. Um, and this is just going to kind of be some impressions and, and thoughts on these sticks. If you want to know more specifications, check out Lone Wolf Custom Gear website or you know there's plenty of other reviews and, and things available for these sticks. Um, so first off, uh, I was going to do an unboxing on these sticks, but I just couldn't wait whenever they came in. I had to uh, get them out and, and check them out. So I've already installed the hardware, but they do come in the boxes uninstalled. So you'll need to install the standoffs, the button, and if you purchase um, cable laters, which I purchased the, the 20 inch uh, cable laters from Lone Wolf Custom Gear, you also have to install, install that hardware um, as well. Uh, installation is a piece of cake. Um, you need a, a couple tools in order to do it, but the instructions that come with um, the sticks are easy to follow, um, so I'm not going to go into that at all. Um, so the weight on these sticks are advertised at around 1.5 pounds. I have my cheesy little you know fishing scale here just so we can get an idea on what they weigh. Now remember um, these have the cable layers installed already uh, so that's going to add a little bit of weight but according to this little cheap scale we're at one pound and 12 ounces. So I guess the, the cable layer adds you know, six ounces or, or something like that. Um, I, I have been very impressed with these sticks so far. I've had them on a couple different trees and I've hunted with them once now. Um, you know, some people talk about they don't, you know, grab the tree very well. Um, that has not been my impression. Now I am using the uh, cam strap that comes with the sticks. Um, uh, I have thought about maybe trying just the strap method without the, um, the buckle. Some people do that in order to save some weight. Um, but with this cam strap, it is rock solid on the tree once you set the stick per the instructions. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. They, I've had absolutely no fear of kick out or anything like that with these sticks. Um, now I am coming from using the Hawk um, Helium Mini Sticks. Um, I gotta say these things are just in a totally different class. And though those sticks are notorious for kick outs and uh, things of that nature, but these sticks, they're just rock solid. Um, one of the, the cons in my mind of these sticks is that they are, they're loud. Uh, just take this buckle and, you know, you know, I mean, they are, they're loud. There we go. So I'm going to have to take some time and figure out how to silence these, whether I'm using stealth strips or some, some other um, sort of silencing to get these a little bit quieter. Um, the big benefit in my mind, or one of the big benefits is how nice these things pack. So this was four of them and you can see how streamlined and tight that is. It is just amazing to have some sticks that, that are so easy to pack. Um, coming from the Hawks, you know, those can sometimes be a pain in the butt getting them to, you know, suction together or whatnot. Um, one thing about the way these sticks snatch though, that's kind of a, a negative in my opinion, is there's really no good way to integrate your straps into these sticks. Because if you have anything that runs in between them, well, they're not going to, they're not going to stack so streamlined, which is the big advantage in, in my opinion. So what I did on my last hunt is I actually carried the straps in a, in a pouch, a separate pouch. Um, and then as I'm climbing the tree and I need them, I just reach down to my hip and my dump pouch and pull out a strap and attach it and, and away I go. I mean, it doesn't really add any time to my climb, I don't think, but it is an extra step. Um, it's not an end all be all, but it would be nice if, you know, I could pack the straps on the stick. So they're always there at my disposal. Um, and maybe I'll play with, you know, just using the the buckleless method or some daisy chain to see how that works at some point. Uh, so one of the things that I was really curious about that I couldn't find a lot of information with is 
how these cableators would pack on these double step sticks. There's, there's plenty of videos out there with the cableators on, you know, the other sticks, but there's really not much with these sticks. I was concerned, so the first one, you know, you can just flip up and go over the button, no big deal. But it's these down here because you can't pivot them 180 degrees. But what I found is you can just kind of rotate them out to the side and then flip your aider up over your button like that. And the same thing all the way down through all of your aiders. Let's see here. So you want to have these bolts loose enough where you can just, you know, pivot uh, the cable aiders around. And they end up packing up just like that, which is plenty good for me. Now, these are the 20 inch aiders. The, seven, the 17 inch aiders on this fourth stick, you may not be able to get this um, cable over the button. Um, I don't know. Uh, I wanted the 20 inch cable aiders because I like to get as much bang for my buck. Um, I'm not worried about stepping 20 inches. You know, I'm six foot tall. Um, a 20 inch step is not a big deal for me. Um, another, you know, big benefit for these sticks, in my opinion, is how they integrate with the Lone Wolf Custom Gear uh, stands. So here I have the DeQuisto Series 0.5 stand. In my previous video, I kind of hit on the fact that there's this button machined into the uh, the post here. Um, the bolt that sticks through from the cable layer on this bottom stick will sit right in that hole, giving you a nice firm packing position. So here you just want to kind of, you know, line it up, get that hole in there, just like that. Then you want to basically just maneuver your, uh, your standoff so they sit inside uh, the holes up on top. And then you can just kind of lay the stand down. Oops. You take one of your your straps here. Um, you can actually just run it through, hook it on the built-in hooks which are on the stand on each side of the sticks. Let's see. Like this, and then you just cinch that dude down. Just like that. Nice and tight. I may get a little more on it. Let's see. Just like that. Um, now I just take my excess strap and just kind of, you know, just, just quickly kind of getting it out of my way here. Um, so once you have that attached, I mean, that thing is solid. There's no noise. They're not going to want you to wear. Um, you still have enough room on your, your built in shelf to throw your backpack or. Uh, fanny pack or whatever you need for all your other gear. I actually um, carry a fanny pack with me, which I don't have. Uh, so I'll set that on this seat and then I run the strap through and clip it on the back side and it's there. Um, so all I need when I go hunting is to grab this setup, throw it on, and take off. I mean, that thing is rock solid. It's it's comfortable, it's light, so it's all that I wanted in a uh, hybrid saddle slash tree stand combination. It's, it's literally perfect for the way that I hunt. Um, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, like I said, I, I really like these sticks. I know there um, have been some talk about they're loud and they don't grip the tree very well um, and yes they are loud but I think that can be uh, overcome with some silencing um, and the gripping the tree part I, I haven't had any problems with that um, it'll be interesting to see how I use as I use these sticks more you know how my thoughts uh, evolve over time and I'll be sure to update y'all um, as I make any modifications or, you know, as my impressions change over time. But, but so far I've been more than pleased with them and would recommend them to anyone looking for a quality, you know, double step stick. Um, they are expensive. And I think they come in around $99 a piece, which is a pretty competitive price point when you look at, uh, you know, higher end sticks. 
you know, similar to the Shikars and um, uh, bee sticks and, and other well-known high-end sticks out there that are uh, designed for mobile hunters. Um, but I, I'm happy with them so far and I can't wait to use this, uh, this entire setup more. It's a shame that uh, there's not a lot of time left in deer season this year, but hopefully I can have um, you know, some of the bugs ironed out and fine-tuned uh, for next year. Uh, I'll be ready to go. Um, I appreciate y'all checking out this video. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Uh, there'll be plenty more content coming uh, at some point. Um, so yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, and I hope this uh, helps somebody out there. Uh, y'all have a great day.